Hi friends. So today I'm going to tell you about a very important cybersecurity concept, which is called as the token validation. So in my last video, if you would go to my YouTube channel, my last video has de detailedly explained about what token validation is and what are the types. Uh, so this is the same key or the synchronous encryption. And uh, today in this video, we are going to talk about asynchronous encryption, which means when you have two different keys, one key is used to sign the token, the authentic auth token basically, and one is to validate. This not only doubles because the, you have double keys, like two keys, this not only enhances the security by 2%, but I would say it enhances the security by at least 10 times more, 10 to 100 times more. It again depends on your use cases. So let's understand how these keys are being maintained, how this entire thing works and things like that. So I am going to take help of, from the auth0 and I got a token which is already signed. So what I'm going to do here is once I come here and I paste this token, this jwt.io is a website, which is uh, basically uh, the Java web token validator. So it would validate whatever the token and lot of things happens in build. And this is crafted by auth0, which is Okta, like a company uh, recently purchased by Okta. So that's what they are doing. Now, quick introduction about JART. These are the token wherein you have your payload. You say user has what kind of access and other information in these claims. What kind of encryption you are using when this um, uh, token needs to be validated or when it was created. That becomes the header and last part is the signature. So if this token is not tampered, which means that if the signature is verified, that means this is all good and it can be accepted. It's not been tampered. So uh, let's go one by one. First is the type. This is JART and this is the key ID. Now RS256 is uh, basically two key pair. It's a key pair. One is the private key by which when I generated it, the token, basically that person. Now who is that person? That is issuer. So this is auth0.com, like pkdemo.us.auth0.com. This guy has uses his private key to uh, encrypt the token. Now this is in uh, like this token is here encoded. I shouldn't say encrypted, but encoded. So decoded the token. But can you verify that this last part, this blue part, it tells you that this is verified. So just to check that. For example, even if there is one letter missing, you would see this is invalid. Let me do it again. This signature is verified, but if this is not here, it's invalid signature. So how this signature key, like the public key reached here that I just want to uh, explain you uh, in a little bit. So first thing is whenever the issuer issues this token, there is this issuer endpoint. Now, once you go there, issuer also provides you a way. It's a OAuth 2.0 flow, a way by which you can get the public key. And then once you pull the public key, you paste the public key. And then this guy would tell you if signature is valid or not. So I came here and then uh, this is basically this one is the OAuth. Uh, the issuer is the OAuth. Now, once we go to this endpoint, so I pasted this issuer endpoint and then after pasting the issuer endpoint, I did dot well hyphen known and then open ID connection configuration. So this would tell you basically where the key location would be. These are all the endpoints. I'm sorry, it's not looking that great here. Let me open it in Postman. So once I come here, this is the open ID configuration for this guy. Now, when we look at here, this guy says that there is this token endpoint and then uh, this is the JWTKSURL. So if you click here in JWS, JWKS.json, it takes you here. And once you do the send request, 
it will give you multiple keys so there is one key id this is the one key id this is second key id few people might have question why they are even publishing multiple keys so i'll explain detail in later but in short this is for key rotation so if i have to rotate the key i will explicitly give you this key id and i'll delete this and replace it with another so every 24 hours or after a specific interval i can rotate these keys so i need to understand uh, like whatever the key i have this fingerprint or whatever this data i have this belong which key i am using so this information is given to you inside the token itself so once we uh, come here this is jart this is asymmetric this is the key id so let's try and grab this key from here so i go to my postman i do a search and this the key basically not the other one now i need to get this value so what i would do is i can pick up this entire json and then once anyone presents me the uh, jart uh, if this is untampered and if it is valid what i would do is i would just go there now, right now it says invalid signature right so i would invoke their endpoint in the postman which shares the key the endpoint is issuer url dot well known hyphen slash jwks dot json i pasted the details of the key which has the algorithm the key type you have to use it for signature validation this is the detail like this the key then they have the key id and some other details so i would paste this here and as soon as this key comes here it would say yay your signature has been verified here if this key is wrong for some reason for example for some reason then um, you won't get the like exact detail so i am going to tweak this key just for you so here in the end i'll remove these five characters and i would say a seam right now i paste this key i would put it here so you see all the details there is no problem this got decoded the issuer url everything right but the basically it automatically pulled up that key and based on the key it has replaced so how it got the key is it got the key from this endpoint i'll also draw it in diagram and will tell you what really happened but uh, this internally calls this endpoint based on that it grabs a public key it inserts it automatically for you once it inserts then this key can be verified now let's take it one step further so i am going to duplicate it and i am going to generate a token which is compromised which means the audience is not uh, context.example.com but this is context.frameasim.com right so i have uh, basically changed the payload over here so once i change the payload since i don't have a private key so i cannot generate a token this is the first thing so let me go back i copy the key i put the key here and this key is valid but as soon as i make any change this disappears because i don't have that key however if there is any tweaking or anything happens over here this thing basically disappears so let's imagine so there is no way that someone can uh, modify or write this uh, data to you because person doesn't have the private key when we saw here in the symmetric encryption this is the same key so even if i tweak my name from john doe to john jen i got this another token so that is what the problem which comes that if i have the token with the same key which got created here and then if i have shared this with several other people 
this guy if has the same key they can generate a duplicate key uh, i mean not the duplicate key but a duplicate token the jar token and they can sign it so that's a risk here in this case if you uh, since you don't have the key you cannot generate uh, the token again so this is way 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 much secure and um, how to get that so let me also draw a diagram again to explain that and we'll summarize this video so what we learned in this video is the chart token validation which has two ways first is the same key which is called as symmetric key encryption second is different key which is asymmetric encryption now in the same key basically what happens is you have the same key uh, i have this data i will validate it here but in both the cases i have this same key in asymmetric i need two different keys so when i am generating the data i need the private key and then i share the token at the end where it needs to be validated there is another key which is called as public key now how they will validate there are two ways first is for example this is o auth server which is the issuer which have issued it and it could be your api gateway which would validate the token and behind this you have your service which will uh, the resource provider which will uh, give the resource so as soon as some request comes here with the jwt token from a user so not i wouldn't say from here uh, sorry let me do this so i have a user <laughs> i have this user here so whenever user presents a jwt token which is uh, in the header you would see the information that it is rs256 uh, the api gateway or whosoever is the validator it could be anything based on your architecture it comes here it would contact the oauth server which is basically the issuer and it would grab the public key from here once it grabs the public key it would validate the signature if everything is good it would allow the access if the token is not good or expired basically it would deny the access so it won't allow the access so i hope you like this for any other identity or security cyber security uh, co concepts or videos or anything please hit me in the comment i'll make more videos like you to enhance our uh, cyber space to make it more secure that's what like people say to make the world a better place i would say to make the cyber space a more secure place that's my motto thanks guys